There are people who are, um, they, they are very curious. They are, curious. They are very yeah. curious. They want to explore. Mm -hmm. They want to see. Mm -hmm. They want to know. Yeah. When, they, when they see, they want to touch. Yeah. When they touch, they want to remove clothes. Yeah. When they remove clothes, they want, you know, they want to explore. The process, yeah. Eh, wamekua universe godagama. Wanataka ku explore kila kitu. Whatever they are reading, they want to experiment. Whatever they had, they want to experiment. Yeah. They're just curious. A person without self-control is like mm. a city without walls. Mm, yeah, if you, yeah. you are not self-controlled, you are ready to be invaded by anything. Mm -hmm. And self-control is a virtue mm -hmm. and it's yeah. the fruit of the Holy Spirit. So this is something that you only ask God to give you. Another great Saturday is here with us and it's a great pleasure, it's a great honor to always have you around. Uh, you know, checking on what is happening, checking on what we are doing over here. Uh, so that we can have our generation, we can have our young people, you know, getting on uh, the right track. Because this is a time in, um, or we rather we are living in a time that you cannot afford to make so many mistakes. If you make so many mistakes at the end of the day, you realize that uh, reaching your destination will not be quite easy. So we are here so that we can inform you and help you to be able to identify and recognize the mistakes from a distance and the moment you are able to do that then you realize that uh, you are going to meet with your purpose you're going to achieve your destiny you're going to achieve your mm -hmm. goals and your dreams but in one given time that you are not serious on the mistakes that you are making you're not serious on uh, are your weaknesses or your areas that are not uh, you're not doing very well in life then you realize that uh, your power or your ability to become starts diminishing now on this saturday we have uh, a great friend that has become uh you know uh, a frequent a visitor a frequent uh, friend and one of us at wema uh, she is back again on uh, this saturday to continue from where she left and uh, she will be introducing herself one more time alafu sasa tunasonga namna hiyo kama namna gani kabisa kabisa asante asante yes. prince yeah. uh, good evening our viewers thank you very much for having me uh, uh, my name is sara kibazo and i'm a born again christian and um, i'm a life coach i'm a trainer i'm a counselor I'm a mother and I'm a wife <laughs> and uh, I thank God that I'm able or rather God has given me grace in the field of mentorship so I do a lot of mentorship for young people I've done mentorship with young people in the prisons especially juvenile prisons I do it in churches I do it in schools and I also have a program where we train parents on how to talk to their children regarding their sexuality from a young age because what we are aiming here is to build a generation that is sober and responsible when mm. they are making decisions yeah. regarding sexuality. Yes. Mm -hmm. Apo, apo kwa kuongea na wazazi, you know, talking to parents on how they should uh, deal or, or, you know, address the uh, people from a young age. Mm. We shall come to address that one day because yes. it's also very crucial. When mm. we realize that um, uh, some parents, they don't know how to approach uh, the, the, their children. Mm. And um, as much as tunayandelea kutoka mahali penye tuluko tumefika, that now, is, um, as you mentioned about about this, um, I will start by asking, as we talk about, um, is is uh, is abstinence outdated in single, in single people, in single young people, that um, that's what we will be talking about. Now, uh, before we get into details of that, who is to blame for our young people who have involved, who have gotten involved in, uh, in uh, or uh, have indulged in sex? Who is to blame? Um, we can blame the whole society. The whole society. If we want to blame them. Mm -hmm. But you see, um, most blames go back to parents mm -hmm. because and guardians. Yes. Uh, because most parents actually they don't talk yes. and they when they want to talk they want to talk when it is very late mm -hmm. they do it when it's late. Mm, when you see your child is in teenagers when you're thinking oh oh this one could uh, be knowing now about sex but mm -hmm. imagine kids as young as eight years they know what sex is all about mm -hmm. kids in class three they know what sex is all about mm -hmm. kids as young as five years they are being raped here and there mm -hmm. and even they know they actually know what is mm. all about because these things 
technology has made it come to their hands. Yeah. And um, I call them YouTube parenting. Nowadays, mm -hmm. par uh, parents are parenting through the YouTube. Mm -hmm. You want your baby to sleep, he's three months old, you put a YouTube music, they listen to it, they <laughs> sleep. <laughs> so ch children learn gadgets when they're very small. Mm -hmm. By the time they're one year, mm -hmm. they can scroll that phone, they even know YouTube, you know? Mm -hmm. Uh, and so when these children at that young age, at, as, as, as they start to speak at mm -hmm. two years, and when mm -hmm. we do our program on parenting, especially mm -hmm. sexuality parenting, yeah. the program is called My Journey. Yeah. We, we advocate that mm -hmm. by the time they're starting to identify, yeah. to, to talk, to walk, mm -hmm. you know, at two years, you should begin talking. Yeah. You should begin talking. Mm -hmm. Yes. At that tender age. At that tender age. But you mm -hmm. see, we leave it up to their 15, 16. By the mm. time they are 15, 16, people have done this manner of things. You're looking mm. at, you know, we have that syndrome. Mm. I call it a syndrome where yeah. parents say, you know, my child is still a baby. Yeah. You know, uh, until even they're 30, he's still mm. a baby. Mm -hmm. Yes, they don't want to talk. Mm. But at the end of the day, this child grows up without values, without facts, mm -hmm. and the things that they are getting, they're getting from the internet. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, they're engaging in them. Mm -hmm. And you're not aware, they're still a baby. Now, from um, okay, from that point of um, information. Now, at what age or at what stage should we start okay informing our young people about uh, sexuality or rather giving sex education? I know, I know, we are diverting now, but mm. now mm -hmm. we we I said mm. from two years start talking. Okay. And some parents ask me that um, mm, is this age is it not too young? I say you'd rather you'd rather be. Mm -hmm. That you've begin you've begun it when they are too young, mm -hmm. rather than wait when it's too late. Okay. Yes. So just begin it from anywhere. Mm -hmm. The problem is we tell parents talk to your children, talk to your children. But the mm -hmm. problem is how do we talk? Because we come from a background yeah. where people don't talk about sexuality. It's even a taboo. People mm -hmm. are still advocating oh. in this day and age. People are still advocating for take them to their auntie, take them. Mm -hmm. And you see, our society we've become a society of gated community. By the time your child is growing mm -hmm. out of that gated community, university. Yeah. maybe a G and Tiana Kanga wapi. You know, so you as a parent has to equip yourself. Mm -hmm. That is what I train. Equipping yourself. How yeah, do you begin? How do you begin at that two years? Mm -hmm. What do you tell at two years that you cannot tell at five? Mm -hmm. What do you tell at five that you cannot tell at three? Yeah. Those are the things that I deal with. Okay, so yes. we are still on um, is uh, abstaining, mm. is abstaining outdated in our generation and in our um, young people in uh, the, the singles. And today um, we are asking, I have, 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 and I have interacted with uh, different kinds of people and uh, you will hear the girls tell you that uh, mm. I was forced into this thing. Then you will hear the guys saying, that uh, these girls are so exposed, you see, so, yani, uh, hakuna, hakuna limit, so, every person is blaming the other, and I say, ma, mi misasa, siku anataka, you know, I was not ready for this, you know, mm. I wanted to abstain, but nekapata chari mwingine, zjua kanifanyia, zjua kaniambia, now, the, the big question is, who should abstain? Who should abstain? Yeah. First of all, we said abstinence is up to marriage. So yes. if you are outside the marriage blanket, mm -hmm. we abstain too. Mm -hmm. Yes, abstain. Sasa sababu ukingia kwa marriage, when you get into marriage, that is when now you and your husband will decide how far will you abstain? Mm -hmm. <laughs> when will you abstain? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because there are people in marriage, when you're in marriage now, you say, okay, when we are praying, mm -hmm. as we abstain. Okay? okay? Or when we are fasting, we abstain. Or when tomorrow Pastor Prince is going on the podium, mm -hmm. we abstain. Yeah. No, those are those are now your things in marriage there. But before marriage, we just have to abstain. Mm -hmm. Yes, that is the bottom line. Otherwise, we, we've talked about the consequences. Mm -hmm. And we say that these consequences cut across. Yes. They don't care whether you're born again or you're mm -hmm. not born mm -hmm. again. So when you're outside the marriage, you know, covenant, mm -hmm. just abstain. So as, as long as uh, someone or somebody is not married, let them just abstain. Yeah, that, uh, that's, that, that, you, you, that's now, the best. Uh, why is it so hard for our generation? Because you hear them say, I know all the consequences, I have gone through all these things. But it has become part of me. Mm. And it has become part of them. Zak that uh, uh, actually, I have heard of generation that uh, that uh, actually it is something that was uh, a certain article that I was reading somewhere that sex is uh, 
being practiced more with the singles than the married Imagine. In fact, while they are doing more sex mm-hmm. than the people that are married. And you are going a lot of time doing it and they, mm. you know, they are... Yani, in a... What is happening with the, with the young generation? So, why is it so hard mm-hmm. for these young people to abstain? You, you've talked about time. Uh-huh. And one thing with our young people, they are very busy. Mm-hmm. If there's a generation that is so busy, is the mm-hmm. generation we live in right yeah, now. We, people are just busy. Mm-hmm. And they're busy not building any mansion. <laughs> they're busy not doing any job. Uh-huh. They're busy on their phones and technology. On their phones, yes. And that yes, is the yes. biggest challenge right now. Mm-hmm. It is the biggest challenge. Mm-hmm. If they're not having it on phone, they're having it on billboard. How, does, how do you advertise a house with a lady who's naked? How do they connect? Mm-hmm. You know? <laughs> You know, they're trying to, they're trying to make mm, it catchy. You look, know, they want to attract, yes, they yes. want to get your eyes. Yeah, because they know this uh, This generation is very busy. They mm. are busy looking for things that can catch the eyes. Faster, faster, we're on the care, we're uh-huh. in the next. So, technology has been one challenge. Mm. One challenge. And, and I talked about sexting. Mm. And um, that has been one thing. Yes. So, wh- when you sext, you're actually doing pornography. Uh-huh. When you do pornography, your body gets aroused. Mm. When it gets aroused, it's one to be fulfilled. Mm. Yeah, so you will have to look for a place to go yes, and, yes, you yes, know, uh-huh. uji, uji mwage. Mm-hmm. So th- those are, well, that is one thing. Mm-hmm. Another thing that Pia Inachangia is the aspect of y- young people, they don't want to be accountable. Mm-hmm. They don't want to be accountable. Yeah. Young people come to church, but awataki kuulizwa maswali. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They want to live their own life. Ukimuuliza hata anaenda kanisa ingine, anasema kuwa ni kanisa ni ipeke yake, anaenda yu ingine. I'm... Our attack is accountable, yeah. and accountability is what is killing this generation. Because um, when you are not accountable to anybody, it mm. means that you are your own person. Yeah. And I don't know history as Sipangwingi will talk about it. Mm. You, yeah, you too, young too, people, they have that attitude of Sipangwingi. They mm. don't want to be pangwad. Yes, mm. you know, they kufanya vitu zao vile wanataka. Yeah. And at the end of the day, mm. this is the result. Mm. This is the result. And another thing, they are very impulsive. Young mm. people are very impulsive. Yeah. There are people who react on anything, mm. any emotion, you know. Akichokozwa na mam, mekasirika, ameenda ata na lala kwa boyfriend. Eh, alikasirishwa. Eh, amejam. Yeah. Yeah. And when aki, aki, aki jam, anenda natafuta mali pa kurelax. Mm. Yo, I want mm. to relax. So mm. let me call my girlfriend home. Mm. They are very impulsive. <laughs> the, the emotions are running from one place to another. And those emotions, if you don't put them into work, yeah. They will work you out, mm-hmm. yeah, mm-hmm. because they, they will just they they will just make you want to do that thing, eh? Mm-hmm. And especially, I don't know why, you know, devil has used sex so much to mm-hmm. an extent now it becomes the easiest tool mm-hmm. to comfort the minimum muita to ni- to relax. Yeah, yeah, I was so stressed, you uh, know, I just wanted yeah. to relax, yeah. And again, the devil is so cunning; mm-hmm. he knows these young people. Are the holders of the next generation. Right. Imagine a family where everybody is 50 years old and mm-hmm. above. Mm-hmm. Your family are in a, in a future. <laughs> so Anadzu mm-hmm. aki target the young people. That is why he has placed everything around for them. Yeah. Not oh, music, yes, not yes, yeah, yes, everything yes. is just around for around mm-hmm. available for them. Yeah. So once they just indulge themselves in it, that's it. Mm-hmm. That's it. And another thing, they are they are, um there are people who are um they, they are very curious. They are, curious. They are very yeah. curious. They want to explore. Mm-hmm. They want to see. Mm-hmm. They want to know. Yeah. When, when, they, when they see, they want to touch. Yeah. When they touch, they want to remove clothes. Yeah. When they remove clothes, they want, you know, they want to explore. The whole process, yeah. Eh, wamekua ni vasko dagama. Wanataka ku explore kila kitu. Whatever they are reading, they want to experiment. Whatever yeah. they had, they want to experiment. Yeah. They're just curious. Mm-hmm. They're just curious. And so they have made themselves very mm-hmm. vulnerable. They're very vulnerable, actually. Mm-hmm. Yes. Now Those are this, some of the things. Okay, these young people and uh, our generation, brother, my mm. mm. somebody is not married, is not preparing to marry, mm. to get married, mm. but they have a boyfriend. I say, "Oh, tunu aku push, aku pani mama mingi." What do we advise them? How do they abstain? <laughs> How do they abstain? I, I want to talk. Uh, yeah, I want to talk about that. Mm. Actually, the um, main aspect mm. is. Um, 
keeping the word of God yeah. in your heart. Mm -hmm. You know, the, 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 the first thing that we talked about, mm -hmm. you're saying it's outdated. Yeah. And this thing is in the Bible. Mm -hmm. So is the word of God also outdated? It is mm -hmm. not outdated. Mm -hmm. yeah. If young people just, if you're born again, just then mean it. Mm -hmm. mean it. Uh, Timothy tells, I mean, Paul tells Timothy mm -hmm. in 2 Timothy 2.22 yeah. that um, when you, you, you abstain from, you know, sexual lust, mm -hmm with them that are of the faith, mm -hmm. them that are of the faith, meaning that if you're dating that young person, mm -hmm. if you're dating that lady, mm -hmm. you're dating that man, then be of the same faith. Yes. Be of the same faith. Same because faith. there is, uh, you, when you, ha you are of the same faith, then you have the same values and mm -hmm. the same virtues. Mm -hmm. You want to also uphold the same, the same thing you're taught. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're taught in church together, Mm -hmm. Me and you, we have been taught. Yeah. We are going to flee. We, we, we abstain. So what da does it mean to us? Uh, we need to remind each other, you know, this is the way to go. Yeah. This is the way to go. And another aspect is um, self-control. Self I talked about self-control in the previous uh, episode. Mm -hmm. And I said that, uh, a si I mean, a person without self-control is like mm -hmm. a city without walls. Mm -hmm. If you, yeah. you are not self-controlled, you are ready to in be invaded by anything. Mm -hmm. And self-control is a virtue. Mm -hmm. And it's yeah. a fruit of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. So this is something that you only ask God to give you. Yeah. Otherwise, you will allow everything else to get inside you. Mm -hmm. Yes. So if you can, if uh, young people can just go back to the word of God and mm -hmm. seek him and ask him, you know what, I want self-control. Yes. And he's ready to supply it in abundance. Mm -hmm. Another thing that young people can do is accountability. Yes. Be ready to be accountable. Get an accountable partner. Mm -hmm. Get Be ready to talk. Yes. We have youth ministries in our churches. Mm -hmm. I don't know the work of youth ministries nowadays. Mm -hmm. In our days, in our days, youth ministry was for accountability. Mm -hmm. We would sit down after service and we talk. Yes. Eh, ata tunavizitiana kwa manyumba. We ask, eh, huku nakana nani? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I, we have a bishop of ours. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he would sometimes invade our, our, our youth ministries meeting in the houses. Mm -hmm. And he will just go straight to the bedroom and uh, check. <laughs> Eh? Yeah, but he he, will ah, <laughs> he, he made us to be munakwa gangari. Yeah. You want to be always on the right side. Yeah. And accountability is something that is missing in the church today. P young people don't want to be accountable. They yeah. don't want to be asked. Umekuja church, umetoka wapi? Mm -hmm. Unaishi na nani? Mm -hmm. Eh? Na mnafanya nini? Hiyo maswali mm -hmm. uwezi uliza saa. Uki, ukiuliza wanatoroka church. Yeah. Wanatoroka church. And health, health mouth is very wide. Uh -huh. yeah, with the moment you toroka church, the next thing that comes is depression. Nowadays, now you see. Mm -hmm. I was telling one of my sons the other day that young people nowadays, they are dying at a very alarming rate. Mm -hmm. Because of depression and suicide. Yeah. Sababu utu aliulizwa. Mm -hmm. Aliulizwa, no church, they don't want me. So yeah. where do I go? Mm -hmm. The next thing, they are depressed. Mm -hmm. The next thing. Or I did this thing, I don't know whom to tell, or I have gonorrhea, mm -hmm. I have syphilis, I am afraid mm -hmm. to go to, cha to church, to yeah. hospital. What do you do? Depressed. The next thing, you are committing suicide. Mm -hmm. Because of something that was so simple, you start yeah, with accountability. Exactly. Yeah. And another thing that they have, um, there's something I teach, it's called self-awareness. Self-awareness. Yeah, yeah self-awareness. Mm -hmm. And that is why Timothy, uh, Paul is able to tell Timothy, flee. Mm -hmm. Because if you're not self-aware, you will not know when to flee. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay, well, how do we? Actually, I wanted to ask you that. Mm. Now, how does a young person, or rather mm. a single, somebody that is not married, say no? Yeah. Uh, so one way is... Atoroka. Atoroka. Eh? Atoroka. And that comes with self-awareness. Especially those kind of uh, very compromising mm -hmm. environments. Set up, eh? yes. Mm -hmm. Be self-aware. Yeah. Self-awareness is a tool that helps you know See yourself clearly. Mm -hmm. Know what to do, what not to do, and see your goals. Mm -hmm. You want to do this thing. Mm -hmm. Remember you have this. You mm -hmm. have this. You yeah. have this. Because you are now aware of yourself. Mm -hmm. When you are self-aware, you'll be no, you'll also know the environment you are in. Mm -hmm. You can be able to detect someone. intentions mm -hmm. You will know where to go. Uh -huh. You will not be just be found in any place, anywhere. Yes. You know, clubbing, you are partying overnight, mm -hmm. you're doing mm -hmm. all this. Because these are places that will set you up mm -hmm. for sexual sin. So some of the things are those. And uh, another thing I would say is avoid compromising situations. Compromising. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. And places. Yes. yes. Now you you, you and especially positions i can mm. still also say positions mm. because uh you know nowadays we e hugging eh? mm. you say oh we just hug mm. uh, the next thing oh we just kissed mm -hmm. mm. then pole, the next pole. Eh, pole, pole, we are graduating mm. yeah. we are graduating i have a friend of mine who normally tells teenagers what's a salam we fike hapa mm. i know it doesn't it's like it doesn't apply right now mm -hmm. but if 
as we talked about last time, mm. if you make a covenant with yourself, these yes. are things that are so easily what applicable. Mm. They can be done. Mm. They can be done. So let that greeting go to an extent. Mm. And you limit yourself. You tell yes. myself, I have made a covenant with my body, mm. with my what, with yes. my what. We yes. are not going this far. And mm. it, it is applicable and it can happen. Mm -hmm. Yes. So these, these, these young people that are, okay, that are in relationships, mm -hmm. that are out there, or like someone wanna push mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. doing all manner of things, eh? mm -hmm. they should be very careful now they are doing it. If yeah. they have purpose to abstain. If they have purpose to abstain it, five things I've said. Yes. Number one, self-control. Mm -hmm. Be self-controlled. Another thing, be self-aware. Mm -hmm. of yourself okay of your environment of the things that you're doing be accountable look for mm -hmm. an accountable partner yes, if it yes. is your pastor somebody is older than you mm -hmm. so even your friend yes. you can also be accountable to your friend you can tell them okay uh and most of, most of the time these peers they know i know you're having sex with friends so we mm -hmm. we know these mm -hmm. things because they discuss you tell mm -hmm. them well, now I, I want to abstain please ukiona nimefanya hii ama nimefika hapa Nishtue kidogo. Yes. Nishtue kidogo. So accountability, avoid uh, compromising places. Mm -hmm. Those are some of the things that you need to do. Also, keep the word of God in your heart. Mm -hmm. Have that desire of the word of God in yes, you. Yes. Have the desire of the word of God. In, get yourself in places where people are talking about God's word. If you can be listening to them on tape, there is a lot that the word of God does to you, mm -hmm. even unconsciously, even if you're just listening to it. Yes. yes. Um... Somebody that is um, has abstained mm -hmm. and wants to get into a relationship. Ata juaje mwenye ame abstain kama yeye. Kuna kitu ya kuonekana this one. This one is an abstain. Abstainer. Ndiyo ame abstain. Na huyu anja abstain. Sasa unamua je. To test kwanza. Ndiyo unamua je. Ata juaje sasa. Mimi ni me abstain. Uh, supposedly, I want to get married. Mm. Nataka ni mwenye ame abstain kama mimi. Mm. Kuna hitu ya kuangalia ni nikuwe, huyu ame abstain, sasa sisi ni wale tu me abstain. Wika, mika, Tuki, mika, tukifunga ile last <laughs> chapter, nilikuwa mea, I told the young people, yeah. there's a verse that says in Matthew 25, yeah. 23, if you're faithful in small, mm. God will make you faithful <laughs> in bigger things. So kama ume abstain, uh, faithfully, mm -hmm. And God who is who never lies, yes. He will not give you something that <laughs> is not compatible with you. The law of attraction mm -hmm. will bring you something. Yes, like it will bring. Exactly, mm -hmm. just like you. Mm -hmm. If you have not abstained, mm -hmm. don't even ask God. Mm -hmm. God, has this one abstained? Mm -hmm. If you have not abstained, mm -hmm. whoever has come has not abstained. <laughs> I tell young people when I'm addressing, especially when they want to get married. Actually, uh -huh. if you want to know the right partner, if you have consulted God, unto uh -huh. ame. Leo tu, yes, we have been friends. Mm. Leo tu, amekuja, sijo, amevaa, nini, anakupis to off. You know, mm. hiyo ni one sign. Hiyo ni, usiende sana. Hiyo mm. relationship he break to. Mm. It is just one sign. And amekua kivaa tu. Mm. But all of a sudden tu, you are just pissed off with it. Mm. If you start, if you are dating somebody and already umeanza kumtua makosa. Na huu kuanga na shida na yo. Mm. Hali wuna vanga madress sana, si uvaya hata troza. Mm. Na ushanza kuwa na shida na yo na mkidate. Mm. Ah, Iache tu hapo. Just stop it there. Mapema, uh, yes. Marali, a broken relationship mm. is better than a broken marriage. Yes, and those are, if you are engaging God in your dating, mm. those are some of the signs God will give yes. you. So if somebody has been involving God, they have been working with God, they have abstained, yule mwenye anakuja, in most cases, mungu wa chesi karata, yule mwenye anakuja, yule mwenye anakuja, mtu mzuri. Mtu mzuri. So kama wewe ni njambazi, mm. yule mwenye anakuja, hata uzumiliza wewe ni njambazi, <laughs> yule mungu wa mkuretea njambazi kama kwa. <laughs> Jambazi mwenzako, kama ya nabunja milango, wea nabunja get. Yeah, so mundi yungwe manjambazi wawili, because God awezi, angalia mungine ya mejituza vizuri, msichana wawenye, ya mejituza vizuri, they have tried to abstain, ameweka all boyfriends, wala wabaya wabaya kando, alafu sasa ikifika siku ya kuwa, mungu wa mulete njambazi. Ah, pana. That is not our God. Hallelujah. Hey, hapa tunaheza wawili. That's why you need to do your parting shot. We need to conclude this. Yes. My parting shot, I want to give it from Ecclesiastes 3.11. Uh, yes. It's one verse that I also like. Mm. And I give it to my teenagers and young people when I'm mentoring. Yeah. That God beautifies things mm. at his own time. Yes. When the time comes, mm. he will make it beautiful. Yes. Even that marriage will be beautiful. Mm -hmm. You will have no shame. Mm -hmm. You will have no guilt. Yes. You will not be attracting demons and what and mm -hmm. what. He will just beautify it. Yeah. Even if Akuna Pesa, mm -hmm. you remember that those young people who got married with the hundred bob. Mm -hmm. What happened to them next? Mm -hmm. They were given a very luxury, you know, 
marriage. I mean, mm. uh, honeymoon yes. after their marriage. Mm. So God beautifies things at the right time mm -hmm. and in his own time. Wow, that is Sarah Kibazo. Mm. She says that uh, God makes everything beautiful in its time. Mm. As young people with all the challenges, with all those compromising environment, operating without accountability partners, she says you can make it, you can walk right, you mm. can walk straight, you can remain pure because uh, purity is a virtue and a very key virtue that we need as a young people mm -hmm. that we may overcome, that we may be able to survive. And she says when you make it as a person, when you abstain, then God is very careful. He'll make sure he brings somebody who has abstained just like you, your way. But come away, umajitumia vibaya, wewe ni mukebe, another friend of mine says, come away ni mukebe, ambia mungu ni mungu ni naomba usinipatia mukebe, mbaya sana kama mimi. Lakini wewe nipatia tu mukebe kwa sababu mimi. Yani, that means, if you are empty, God will give you something empty, because God is very just. Uh, uh, another person says that uh, God is very strong, God is very fair, mm. God is very firm. Mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. in, in everything that he does, mm -hmm. he's very strong. Mm -hmm. Actually, Aguna uh, mm. God does not, is never bright. Mm -mm. You know, at the same time, Mungu wacha nipite kando wapana. If you are not just, if you are not fair enough, if you are not uh, a pure enough, then don't go around, you know, playing around with God. Because I'm a God, sasa, sinajua mimi mbile tumekua, aa, ajana man. Na kuna wawo wengine, ambao wana, wana pendanga kukubali mungu wakati wana taa kuwakoka. Iyo utaonge yos kuingine. Okay, it has been dialogue at the well, and I want to tell you this is where you get it right, this is where you get it sober every Saturday at 6 p.m. only on Wema TV. Thank you very much. Keep it here. Have a blessed evening.